Too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want, to impress people that they don't like. This is a quote from Will Rogers. In today's video, we will learn proven strategies for how to break the habit of overspending and the steps you need to take to control your finances. If you constantly spend money without thought or feel like your expenses are spiraling out of control, this video is specifically for you. Let's dive in and explore five strategies to stop spending money. The first is understand your spending triggers. Understanding the reasons behind your spending habits is the first step towards breaking the cycle. Here are some common spending triggers and how to address them. One, emotional spending. Emotional spending is the act of making purchases as the response of our emotions, often seeking comfort and distraction. This can have a significant impact on our financial well-being. If you are someone who constantly finds yourself reaching for your wallet every time you experience certain emotions, then this video is specifically for you. Here are two main effects caused by emotional spending. The first effect that is caused by emotional spending is financial strain. Emotional spending can lead to financial stress and debt. Many couples can testify that sometimes there is a spender and there is a frugal in the relationship. The one who can't control their emotional spending can cause strain on the couple's finances affecting the relationship. One of the main reasons why most couples end their relationship is due to mismanagement of funds. Impulsive purchases driven by emotions can accumulate over time, taking a toll on the family and the couple's finances. Couples should talk about these challenges and find help before it is too late. Emotional spending causes temporary relief. Emotional spending may provide temporary relief or distraction from negative emotions. However, it does not address the root cause of our emotions and can lead to a never-ending cycle. We have read stories of many rich people, including athletes, who used to earn millions of money during their active careers and in their later years, they are struggling financially. This is massively due to the mismanagement of their finances, buying expensive and massive houses that became a big liability due to the cost of maintenance and also spending lots of money on parties, trying to please people they don't even care about. Natasha Monson once said, Money, like emotions, is something you must control to keep your life on the right track. She goes on to say, money isn't the end of all, be all, but it is certainly important. Just like you must keep your emotions in check, it is important to keep your finances in check. This brings us to the second important point, identify your emotional triggers. Now that we have seen the effect of emotional spending, the first step towards overcoming emotional spending is to identify emotional triggers. Here are some common triggers and what one needs to overcome them. The first trigger that could cause emotional spending is stress or anxiety. Stress and anxiety can push us towards trying to find comfort or control through retail therapy. How can one overcome this? one should consider alternative stress relief methods such as exercising or talking to a trusted friend. The second trigger is boredom or loneliness. Boredom and loneliness can drive us to seek excitement and connection through shopping. How to counter this is you should engage in your hobbies, explore new interests or connect with loved ones instead of relying on shopping to fill that void. The third trigger is sadness or emotional distress. Sadness or emotional distress can lead us to seek temporary happiness through buying items. One can encounter this by practicing self-control, seeking support, and exploring healthier coping mechanisms like journaling or creative outlets. This leads us to the third point strategies to curb emotional spending. Now that we have seen what triggers emotional spending, let us explore some strategies that can help one break the cycle of emotional spending and develop healthier financial habits. One, 
Pause before purchasing. Before making any purchase, pause and ask yourself if it is truly necessary or if you're buying out of emotion. Take a break, step away from this situation and allow your irrational thinking to take over. This always works. When you give yourself a chance to think through things before making a purchase, your decisions will be different. Pause and ask yourself, do I need this or do I need this at this time? Was this in my monthly budget? If the answer is no, just walk away and overcome what could have triggered an impulsive purchase. Two, create a spending threshold. Set a predetermined amount that you can spend without causing financial stress or guilt. Establish a limit and stick to it even when emotions are running high. This won't only help you not spend unnecessary, but also can help you start saving for even bigger goals. Three, practice mindful spending. Become more conscious of your spending habits and the emotions that fuel these. Ask yourself if this purchase aligns with your values or if there are healthier ways to address your emotions. The fourth point to breaking free from this spending cycle is seek emotional support. Overcoming emotional spending may require support from other people. Let's see how seeking emotional support can help you. One, talk to a friend or a family member. Discuss your emotional spending habits with someone you trust. This could be a partner or other family member or even a trusted friend. This can provide you with perspective, guidance and accountability. Next, consider professional help. If emotional spending habits persist despite the efforts, consider seeking help from a financial therapist or a counselor. They can assist in identifying the root cause of your emotional spending, providing you with strategies to overcome it. Emotional spending is a common struggle, but by understanding what triggers it, practicing self-awareness and seeking support when needed, we can break free from this cycle. Remember, your emotions are valid, but finding healthier ways to cope will lead to more fulfilling and a sustainable path. The second way to stop spending money is create a budget and stick to it. Setting and following a budget is crucial in curbing unnecessary spending. Here are the key steps in creating and sticking to a budget. One, assess your income and your expenses. Track your income sources and categorize your expenses. Identify areas where you can cut back and make adjustments to save more money. Two, set financial goals. Define your short-term and your long-term financial goals. Use them as a motivation to stick your budget and resist impulsive buying. Three, track your spending. Keep a record of every expense to gain awareness of where your money is going. Utilize budgeting apps or spreadsheet to help you track and analyze your spending patterns. The third way to stop spending money is identify and eliminate unnecessary expenses. Identifying and eliminating unnecessary expenses is a key strategy to stop spending money. Here are some common ways where you could cut back. One, review your subscriptions and memberships. Evaluate all your subscriptions and memberships, such as streaming services, gym memberships, or magazine subscriptions. Cancel or downgrade those you do not frequently use or benefit from. Two, reduce dining out and eating in. Cook meals at home instead of eating out to save money on restaurant bills. Plan your meals in advance. Create a grocery list and stick to it to avoid impulsive purchases when you reach at the store. Three, minimize impulsive purchases. Avoid shopping when you're bored or emotionally vulnerable. Make a shopping list before going to the store and stick to it to prevent unnecessary purchases. The fourth way to stop spending money is practice frugality and smart spending. Adopting frugal habits and practicing smart spending can make a significant impact on your finances. Here are some ways to live a more frugal lifestyle. One, 
buy used or refurbished items. Consider purchasing used or refurbished items instead of buying brand new ones. Look for deals on platforms like Facebook Marketplace or Thrust Stores. Two, carry out comparison shopping before making a purchase. Research and compare prices before purchasing to ensure you're getting the best deal. Utilize price comparison websites or browser extensions to help you find the lowest prices. Three, bargain or negotiate. Don't be afraid to negotiate prices or ask for discounts, especially when purchasing high ticket items. Look for sales or promotional codes, or you can even wait for holiday seasons for potential discounts. The fifth way to stop spending money is practice mindful spending. Mindful spending is about making intentional and conscious choices with your money. Here is how you could incorporate mindful spending into your daily life. One, define your values and priorities. Determine what truly matters to you and align your spending with your values. Ask yourself if this purchase aligns with your priorities or if it will bring long-term satisfaction. Two, set spending limits. Establish limits on specific spending categories to avoid excessive spending. For example, set a minimum limit for dining out or entertainment expenses. Three, celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate small wins or milestones and achievements in your financial journey. Reinforce positive behavior by treating yourself with a small reward within your budget. Breaking the cycle of overspending can be challenging, but with commitment and consistent effort, it is possible to regain control of your finances. By understanding your spending triggers, creating a budget, identifying and eliminating unnecessary expenses, practicing frugality and smart spending, and adopting a mindful spending habit, you can stop spending money aimlessly and start building a more secure financial future. Remember, it's a journey and progress may take time. Stay patient and stay focused. You have the power to take control of your finances and create a future you deserve. Thank you for watching and if you found value in this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content on personal finance. With that said, see you in the next video.